Vertigo. What's popping, baby? What's going on, cousin? For the month of August, okay? <laughs> For all of you who are new subscribers to my channel, hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family. We cuss, we make fuss, we don't argue, we don't judge, we don't do none of that. We share, we grow, we love, we evolve. Y'all, thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you for all the love. I mean, I have time to respond to every single comment. I don't know for all of my old subscribers who uh, were the old family members who've been part of the family since January when I started. Y'all, we is growing so fast. Family get big, okay? So, of course, with that said, Big Mama got to make room in, in the casa, okay? In the casa in the castle okay we got to make room so with that i would like to welcome all the new subscribers to all of the old ones i don't know if i told you i loved you in a while but i love you baby right we finna get it popping this will be for my virgos sun moon rising and venus as well as cross watchers for i'm now until the 15th of august i know i'm late i've been having shit going on too duh okay I have life too, all right, but I try to extend everything I can to you guys, all right. I will say, um, intuitively, y'all got some choices to make, and I pray you choose you, okay? Don't be no fool because let me tell you, intuitively, I feel to tell Virgos a person can make a mistake, okay? But you ain't gonna keep making the same mistake more than once. At that point, it then becomes a fucking choice, and a free, I mean, it, it, if it's a choice, you damn sure got options, okay? So that's for somebody. Actually, I'm hearing a few of y'all, all right? So let's get it. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to get sick on the low. So I need to get these videos completely done because I don't know what's tea. My throat may come in and out. It's been really bothering me. I've been having to drink hot stuff, so y'all pray for my throat shot, all right? Let's get it. Right, so for Virgos, of course, you know this is not a personal, it's a general, okay? But if you need a personal, hit me up. I do have reading specials going on. That information can be found within that breaking news video. I'm going to, uh, in fact, I'll probably put another video up there because I extended it because some people didn't see it until later. So get your reading special in. Um, all these damn specials go in when Leo season is over. So y'all get it in, all right? Malachite is the first angel message that I'm going to be pulling for Virgos today. Crystal angels or cards from Doreen Virtues. Okay. I have Malachite. It says, Prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. It says, This card indicates a positive shift in your flow of divine support. This could refer to meeting your needs financially, emotionally, or in some other way. Previous blocks are lifted because you've released old anger and fears are, and are now focused upon faith and taking guided action. As long as you continue on this path of positive thinking and following your divine guidance, you can expect to see greater number of opportunities arise and experience deeper fulfillment. Okay? So, Malachi, for those of you who were having some type of financial issue, okay, just know that those blocks are going to be removed, okay? And spirit is working for you, not against you. Shit is falling. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you, okay? Funny thing, I just said that at 333. I don't know who's been following the numbers, but baby, expansion is in the... Expansion's in the building, okay? Let's grow. Right. This month, Virgo, a lot of y'all are trying to hold shit together, okay? From now to the 15th of August, you're going to be trying to hold shit together. For some of y'all, y'all have this see all, say nothing. I see all say nothing. Okay, some of y'all are going through um, your heart chakras being expanded and opened up. Okay, some of y'all are allowing people in for the Virgo who's been closed off to love, closed off to all to the idea of love. Now that heart is opening up, okay? You're seeing things and you're pretty instinctual when it comes to the person who you're interested in, okay? It's like you just feel them like a little dog. You feel them, okay? This month, you are going to feel everything. Y'all third eye is going to be booming. A lot of y'all will see a lot of truths, okay, being revealed to you in the midst of your downloads this month, all right? Virgo, a lot of y'all are balancing the masculine and the feminine. Some of y'all are dealing with a, a twin flame energy or wanting to get to a twin flame energy, okay? But you're having to release yourself from someone who you possibly have a pretty dark and rough past with, okay? You don't want to release this person because, you know, y'all are loyal by nature, okay? Y'all literally, Virgo's loyal by nature. They're going to ride gang gang. Y'all ride or die. 
However, you know that there's someone in your life that's no good for you, okay? You're going to be releasing this person. For some of y'all, it's a Gemini, okay? For some of y'all, it may be an Aquarius. For some of y'all, it could also be a Taurus as well. Some of y'all are going to be releasing this people. For some of y'all, it's also a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're feeling a little regretful. And you're going to be moving out of that energy because some of y'all instinctually, you feel bad about leaving this person, but you also feel it's some shit that you need to know before you hit the door. Some of y'all going to get a get out of jail free card, okay? And actually be able to chase your heart and follow it where it wants to go and where it needs to go, where it's supposed to be, all right? A lot of y'all are taking these experiences that you went through in the past and using them and molding them to help you balance out your negative and your positive. It's not about you know, oh, this one and that one did that, this one and that one did this, this one. Because people change every day, but well, some of y'all have done some shit. And if you wanted to go back to somebody, that doesn't mean that, this, that, mean that they're not supposed to accept you because you did some shit. No. Forgiveness in the building, but the free will choice is yours, okay? So I do see, Virgo, um, I did ask for, for the general energy for the most part for everybody. I am seeing a third party situation, okay? Some of y'all are coming out of a third party situation or are currently in a third party situation, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And some of y'all are going to communicate, look, I, I love me some you. I'm passionate about you. But you got me fucked up if you think I'm going to be in a third party. How about that? Okay. Some of y'all, this person, either this outside or inside your energy, maybe you are feeling rejected by someone or someone is feeling rejected by you. Could be a Leo. Okay. Let's just focus. Thank you. Yes, some of y'all have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that you're in a third party situation. I feel like this person, you're going to get truth and clarity from this person regarding this third party situation. Some of y'all not going to like it because this person talks very reckless. Don't go in their mouth, okay? Because I see I got to tell y'all, y'all cousins to this Aries, and we fight. Y'all be cutting up, okay? So don't do it, all right? Don't do it. Release this person. Some of y'all have a Gemini, <laughs> and this person talks reckless, okay? Um, this person may also communicate between the first and the 15th about a third party situation between um, either yourself and the water sign, okay? Or yourself and the air sign. Some of y'all got love. Y'all want to spread y'all love and move on to a cancer, okay? Some of y'all, y'all have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio trying to communicate with y'all and y'all just not having it because this person, every time y'all talk, there's an argument, okay? We're moving away from that energy as well. Some of y'all are being truthful with y'all self. This person is my twin. They my soulmate. I want them. Some of y'all are going to be finding out about a situation that includes a Sagittarius um, as well as a Pisces, as well as a Gemini could be, okay? But there is some, a third party situation that truth and clarity is going to come out about. Uh, possibly around this next full moon cycle, or it could have already happened, okay? It could definitely involve an air sign. But Pisces and Scorpio is in the building. Some of y'all are very passionate about a Scorpio. Y'all want to start new with this person. Some of y'all are needing to um, let a Leo know how the fuck you feel. You're not going to do me. I love me some you because y'all love this Leo. This person is coming in wanting to start something new with you. Some of y'all are welcoming in new babies. Y'all going to get truth and clarity about it. Some of y'all not going to be happy about it. But it's a blessing. Most love the kids, okay? Some of y'all are getting truth and clarity about a situation. What's done in the dark will come to the light, baby. That's what I'm seeing. And it is involving a Sagittarius, a possible Taurus, okay, as well as an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And some of y'all, y'all have something new trying to form, but you just sticking around somewhere where you don't even feel happy because you just worry about how the other person going to feel. You better take this damn offer. I know that. All right. Let's get it. Spirit, please clarify. Now to the 15th of August. Yeah, some of y'all are being, some of y'all have a fire sign being very defensive towards you due to a third party situation. Either you put that person in a third party or they put you in a third party, but the tower is getting ready to file. If y'all not communicating, y'all getting ready to. Some of y'all are going to receive some honest communication from a Scorpio as well, who's been very defensive towards you. Uh, maybe you and this person really didn't know how to deal with each other. Some of y'all are also going to be communicating, um, Possibly with a Pisces, okay? And this Pisces, I feel like if you're dealing with Pisces, Pisces don't know how to talk to you and you don't know how to talk to Pisces. This person is your soulmate. But I feel like with some of y'all, there's a little love for this person, okay? I feel like some of y'all have a twin flame that is a Libra trying to bust in the building. 
and y'all just won't let it happen. Some of y'all have definitely welcoming in children with the water sign. Congratulations, my baby, okay? Uh, that baby possibly, uh, for some of y'all who just had kids in the month of July, congrats, baby, mocha love the kids, all right? Some of y'all definitely have a cancel that is loving on you. This person came into your life. They are good karma, okay? What is you waiting on? Some of y'all are definitely going to be walking away, cutting off a tourist, okay, and moving on to either air sign or a, um, a Leo or a cancer. Some of y'all um, definitely will be seeing truth and clarity regarding a situation that was hidden in the dark is coming to the light regarding a Sagittarius or uh, regarding a Sagittarius. Okay, you and this person, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Leo, y'all are coming out of one cycle and moving into another one in y'all life. So maybe some of y'all may happen to be releasing someone. Okay, to get to the person who you love. For some of y'all, it is definitely a Scorpio, baby. This Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands? I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords. I said the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords here. Yep. Some of y'all are having strength. Some of y'all are getting truth and clarity regarding a situation that involves a Leo and the Aries, okay? Or it could actually, you having strength, okay? Wanting to communicate with maybe an Aries that maybe you or this person put y'all, put, put, somebody put you in a three-party situation with an Aries, okay? Some of y'all want something new to start with this person, with this Aries, due to children being here. Congratulations to people who have kids. Aries, baby. Some of y'all, <clears throat> some of y'all are, some of y'all have a Pisces or a Sagittarius no. wanting to come into your life. This could also be an Aquarius. This person, you left them out in the cold or they left your ass out in the cold and now that they see that, you know, you kind of growing, you getting your shit back together, you getting back on your flow. Now they want to hold on to what y'all had. For some of y'all, this is definitely a Sagittarius. Some of y'all were holding on to a Sagittarius for money, too. And now this person is kind of feeling rejected because you, some of y'all walked away from her. This person walked away from you, but you let them back in your life having to do with the finances okay. and on the cool. You don't want to be there. That's not who you love. Some of y'all are very passionate about someone, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but you be in your head about this person, but you ain't in your head about giving up the goodies, because some of y'all are definitely giving it, throwing that ass back, okay, some of y'all are definitely giving up the goodies to a water sign, even though you're passionate about this person, but instead of communicating, y'all not doing that, y'all just literally kind of hanging in there, some of y'all have a lot of options coming back, or the person in y'all energy this could be a water sign. Strong emphasis on Pisces, man, or a Leo. They have a lot of options, okay? And you're just trying to, this person makes you feel rejected or maybe not good enough. Some of y'all going to cut their ass off. Some of y'all going to cut off the idea of moving forward with this person and allowing this person to treat y'all any kind of way. Some of y'all, this person has a lot of options and you have no clue. Some of y'all have a lot of options. And you don't know which way to go, left or right, okay? You know that you want to extend love. You know you're ready to love. Some of y'all have a strong emphasis on a Leo trying to come in and snatch you off your feet. They're not taking no for an answer. Some of y'all are moving away from y'all past completely after cutting people the fuck off. You're moving away from third-party situations. Some of y'all are blowing the damn whistle on a situation that you thought was dead, but now it's being resurrected, that definitely could involve a family situation, okay? Or this could be outside of your energy. This could be your partner. Some of y'all are moving away to an air sign, okay? Because this air sign is trying to help you financially. Some of y'all moving away from a tourist, especially if you and this tourist was dealing with each other for money, for, for financial reasons, okay? Um, a lot of y'all have new jobs starting or going to be receiving a new a, a promotion, okay, between from now and the 15th of August, or maybe it already happened. Because I'm seeing this coin is looking real nice. Some of y'all are transmuting y'all family situations, especially if you have a child with a water sign or a Capricorn. Some of y'all are juggling two water babies, a Cancer and a Scorpio, or a pack of every water sign is here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio on the board. Some of y'all are juggling two water signs, okay? Some of y'all could actually be pregnant. And some of y'all could be pregnant in a third party situation. So we're waiting on the results to come forward. But Whatever this is, 90% of y'all, really, I'm going to say 100% of y'all, because this is what we claim we manifest in greatness around this yard, okay? But I do see you moving forward victoriously, okay, after a period of kind of being in your head, all right? But you falling back in your energy and moving victorious. You finding yourself again, dropping them people fucking burdens and realizing, 
I can't change the way a person feels. So if they want to be out here hoeing and fighting it for everybody, that's totally fine. I'm going to let your ass be for everybody. But me, myself, <laughs> I'm going to get me, myself right and do what me, myself want. And whatever it is that makes me happy, some of y'all going to leave a water sign on the call. And whoever it is, I strongly feel like this is karma. Some of y'all, some of y'all putting a Gemini on child support. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Some of y'all have good karma trying to come in through a soulmate, possibly a Libra. This person's coming in to help you balance. Balance the way you communicate. Balance the way that you get the money. Balance your spirituality. Balance you emotionally, physically, and mentally, this person. But you won't drop the burdens from this toxic ass person who you need to walk away from. But some of y'all, most of y'all have new love coming in and it's having to do with the masculine and the feminine energy being balanced within self. And actually attracting that outwardly. So that your twin flame see your light. Like, hey, it's you I want. You right there. It's you right there. They want my cousin. You right there. <laughs> you right there. <laughs> they want my cousin. Now, right, Virgo? Look, y'all out here finna be shit popping. Coin popping. Intuition popping. Y'all chasing y'all heart. Freeing yourself from bullshit. Bullshit ass people. Bullshit ass places. Bullshit ass situations. Okay? This look like a whole tight, a whole different type of situation shift if you allow it. Okay? Everything's flowing. Flowing beautifully. All right? So you just have to make a decision on what you're going to allow in your life. Because literally, spirit is giving you your way again. For those of you who've been going through a tough period, um, having like toxic people around you, just releasing a lot of people, people are leaving you with no clarity. All of the things that you needed to know is going to fall in your lap to assist you in moving forward and going to go live your best life, your highest, within your highest realm, okay? On your greatest motherfucking pinnacle, wherever that may be for a Virgo baby, doing it the way you want to unapologetically. You understand? Apologize for what? For living the lessons that I learned and being happy, who? Who gonna beg for what? Like I told Aries, who gonna beg for what? On damn thing, I'm gonna beg for is your pardon. Or to motherfucking this if you think I'm gonna stick around for this shit. Okay? Baby, y'all know I love y'all. I don't even gotta tell y'all what to do, cause see, y'all are very strong minded. But I will suggest that you put your happiness first. Okay? That's what my name is. Put your happiness first. I love you. That's what I got for August for y'all. I will see y'all back me a month. And I promise I'm going to be the fuck on time. I'm, I'm working on it, okay? Um, I start my job. I'm going to go back to doing security. So y'all going to see me back again in somebody's uniform. <laughs> Flipping cards. Because, you know, the fucks, I don't give them. I do what I want. So, y'all, I love y'all. And I want y'all to have the same attitude. Especially if you got the areas in your chart right now. Look, do what the fuck you want. Do what you want. <laughs> Who will stop you? As long as it's aligned with bettering yourself, growth, and what makes you happy, and then have you in the vibration of your higher self, who mad? Whether you're doing good or bad, it's always going to be somebody mad. You can't please everybody, baby. They're going to talk. They talked about Christ. They talked about Christ. Hell, they called me the devil and all kind of shit, but guess what? If Christ walked today, healing people, laying hands and shit, they was going to take his ass out like they did Dr. C. And y'all know I ain't lying. Just like they did. People fear what they can't control, okay? They hate what they can't contain, all right? And people also try to demolish what they try to ruin, okay? When they see it moving in a way that, that, that they could never even imagine, limitlessly, unapologetically, fearlessly. With no fucks. How about that? Alright? I love y'all babies. I want y'all to grow. I want y'all to win. Win. I got chills telling y'all that. I want y'all to win. Because you deserve it. To win. For those of you who are empathic, you feel all this passion right now. Win. Win. It's your season to win. Your time to win. Your lessons were learned. You graduated, baby. Sayonara. If it hurt a little bit, shake it up and shake it off. Pain don't last forever. It's going to stop eventually. But it's about your mindset. If you're only looking at the pain instead of looking at what the gains that you're gaining from the pain. 
You get what I'm saying? Gratitude is the manifesting attitude. Everything is right here working in your favor. But you got to make the move too. You can't pray and sit still like, oh, okay, well, I ain't going to make the move. I'm going, well, we're going to kick your damn dough down and then come in and snatch you off the couch and thump it on like Superman. It don't work like that. Okay? So I love y'all. Y'all comment. Let me know what's to you. Those of you having new babies, a final night news, congratulations. It's beautiful. I love kids. Beautiful. And these little star seeds are being born into the world. These little karmic babies. A lot of these babies are catalytic situations, but they had to come here. These babies are special. Pay attention to them. Bye, y'all.